What's up, YouTube? What's up, Internet World? Today is, uh, what, September the 9th, I think? Today's Friday, whatever the date is. Um, but I wanted to, uh, I wanted to holler at y'all about the, uh, the Eliza Fletcher situation. Um, if you don't know, Eliza Fletcher was the woman that was abducted in Memphis, Tennessee, and, uh, she was assaulted. Uh, I, I let the man's name that has been accused of assaulting her escape me, but this is, um, there's a lot more going on here than, you know, what some may take off of face value. Uh, of course, let me just say this off the, you know, off the rip. I in no way intend to hurt anyone's feelings with my opinion. And I do feel for the family of Eliza Fletcher. This is not to be uh, in any shape, form or fashion uh, done with any malice intent or, you know, any, uh, any harmful type of uh I'm not even sure what word I should be using for that but I'm not I'm not trying to offend anyone with my opinion but one thing that I do want to say is that this this is not you know this is not just oh this man uh is a monster and he you know kidnapped this woman and and you know, done whatever he done to her. I don't want to go into detail about it. And some may say, oh, you're wrong. He is a monster. And very may, you know, he very may well be a monster. Um, in my opinion, I don't feel like anyone should be uh, abducted, taken advantage of, raped, any of that. No woman should be done in that manner. Uh... I will say this though, when you have uh, that type of activity go on and you're only able to look at it on one side, it kind of, you know, it, it kind of whitewashes the opinion of certain people to where they can't understand that this is something that European males have been doing to young black women for a long time in this country. Now just let that sink in for a minute. Just think about that. Because this is not a behavior that this man has just displayed that we have never seen before. You have European males that have caused mayhem and destruction to families in this country by doing the same behavior that this man did to Eliza Fletcher. There's been a discussion saying that people should be able to move wherever they want to because there's a lot of gentrification going on. There's a lot of people that are moving into areas that they have no idea of the history of crime and violence in these areas. Maybe about a year ago, we have an area here in Charlotte, North Carolina, where the gentrification has become very heavy. And those people that have moved into these neighborhoods where the, <clears throat> the neighborhoods have been gentrified, the property value has been driven down because of the lack of education, and the lack of resources that are in these neighborhoods for the urban community. Once the property value was driven down, then, you know, the gentrification starts. People come in, they see, uh, you know, property that is cheap. You know, they can buy it, put new, new uh, construction on it, and add value to it. And maybe about a year ago, 
that happened here in Charlotte, North Carolina, where the people that moved into a neighborhood that had a big history of crime and violence, they found out firsthand that they moved into a war zone. Because there were about 80 to 100 shots that went off in the span of maybe about 15 to 20 seconds. And this is not something that was happening at nighttime. This is not something that happened, you know, uh, as the sun was going down. This was in broad daylight. Man was taking his trash can out to the street and he found out firsthand what in the world is going on and where have I moved to? And people will try to say that the people in these areas should not be free that they should not be able to run the streets and then they should not be uh, able to endanger the public in the way that they do. Now that's neither here nor there, but the people that are in these neighborhoods are living in a survival mode and they're not able to have the resources to go to college, get educated, so that they can have the resources to make 80, 90, a hundred thousand dollars a year. So they don't have to be fighting with each other, shooting guns at each other or shooting bullets at each other through automatic weapons over crumbs that are being thrown in the street by European society. These gentrified areas that people are moving into, as they say, they should have the right to move wherever they want to. But the gentrified areas that they're moving into, the people that live in those areas, they didn't have the choice to move where they wanted to when they were confined to the living quarters that they have been stuck in for the last 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. You know, a place like, uh, like O Block, in Chicago, most of those residents there, they never had the choice to move out of those conditions. They were born into the conditions, basically in a war zone where they don't have the option to move where they wanted to. So for someone to say you should have the option to move where you want to, that's not an option for everybody. You see, people are moving into these gentrified areas or gentrifying these areas moving into urban areas because they're choosing to that's the fad now you know a lot of european people they want to live closer to the inner city now but years ago inner city urban kids were being labeled by the clintons as being criminal monsters and they were put into these conditions and these criminal monsters were created based on the condition that they were put in and based on the areas that they were allowed to live in I mean how many stories has there been we can take the story of Emmett Till a man accused of whistling at a woman. And this wasn't even a man. This was a 14, 15 year old boy. Being accused by a grown woman. A grown white woman at that. Being accused by a grown white woman. Of him whistling at her. And in turn. It cost him his life. He died very brutally. I mean, very brutally. Maybe you ought to go in, and I'm not sure if, if you're if you're hearing this, if you have heard the story of how he was pulled from his house in the middle of the night by a lynch mob and beaten to death. And again, this is not to make light of the situation with Eliza Fletcher. I'm not trying to make light of it because no one should be treated in that manner. 
but we can't sidestep and negate the fact that these things have been going on by European males since this country has been being developed. We don't know what was inside the mind of that man when he committed that act. We don't know what family members that he has that maybe when he was a young boy, he heard other family members talking about things that have been done to his family members by European people. And now when he's out three, four o'clock in the morning and he sees the opportunity to even the scoreboard, he takes that chance. Whether he was high on drugs or not, who knows? I mean, why would, not to blame Eliza Fletcher, but why would you be out jogging at that time of morning in an area that is known for high crime? I went on a little bit longer than what I really wanted to. Y'all put that in your pipe and smoke it. You gotta see a man by the dog. Only one way to call that thing. Yo, that's how I see it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Ain't no love in the heart of the city Family members locked up Couple niggas ain't with me Put me 